in terms of where I live. Here you are with a $1.2 billion worth net worth and you don't own a house, a personal house. Yeah, well, well, well you know, I rent, I rent my house. Right. I get a better loan on it because I rent it. Uh, you know, I mean, I could own my, I could, I could have an LLC own it and rent it back to me and I'd still get a better deal. So, you know, I rent where I live. Uh, I, I treat houses like hospitals. You know, you get in, you get out. Yeah, I'm, I, I, the grocery store, Whole Foods. I don't buy the whole the whole grocery store. I go get the stuff I need, and then I leave. And, and a house, a house, houses were built for banks. They weren't built for for people. They were built for banks. And, and then and then the people were lied to and said, "Oh, a house is a great investment." A house is one of the dumbest, worst investments a human being could possibly make for one reason: <clears throat> you have to pay the house. The house doesn't pay you. And if it doesn't pay you, it's not a good investment. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, we have real estate agents all over the place saying you need to stop throwing your money away renting, you need to buy a house. But an investment is only worth as much as it pays you. So if you're living in a family home, then how much is it paying you? Zero. And that's why my friend made the conscious decision to move out of his house, move into an apartment, based on our strategy, he will be able to be a millionaire in five years or less.